to play with some Play-Doh. Yeah, I'm a grown man, a scientist, and I'm going to play with some Play-Doh. Here, let's have some fun. Oh, oh, oh. Stick one there. Stick one here. What does Play-Doh do? Well, it's good fun, but we can actually conduct electricity with it. Here we go. Stick plus of a battery, minus of a battery into the Play-Doh. And let's see what we can do with our LED. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> and tell you what, this is rather nice from a, from a technical point of view. We can choose which color of LED we want. Green, blue or red. And what's really, really interesting is that because this is quite resistive, this Play-Doh, it can actually share the current. Now normally, if you put all three wires together, they don't share current at all. You see, I shorted them all together. Only the red LED turns on. The blue and the green have got no chance. But look at this, look at this. Now, what's nice about the Play-Doh, if we space these wires out, we can actually get all red, green and blue to join together to make a kind of white colour because it's all been shared out by the Play-Doh. It's really good. We can also control a little motor. Here we go. Off we go. Come on, motor. Don't be shy. There you are. So that's also going to the Play-Doh. Amazing. All right, let's go and show you something else. Let's take out this and let's go over to another circuit. We can actually have a transistor circuit here. We've got two LEDs, two transistors. Now, a transistor have collector, emitter and base connections, both sides. Let's just dig our power in. So you put the plus in here, boom. We put the whoop, put the minus in here. Oh, I'm having great fun. And let's put this transistor back in. There you are, middle base collector. Stick it in. It all turns on. You say, oh yeah, but what's so special? What is so special about transistors? Well, they are helping to conduct the current from the plus through the LED down this Play-Doh wire through the transistor and down to the minus. Now. We can short out the transistor to make the LED a little bit brighter. You expect that, I suppose. Take out the transistor and the LED won't work at all. Let's put it back in, shall we? But what's very interesting, if we short circuit the base to the emitter, what's going to happen? Nothing. Yeah, the LED turns off. So what's happening is, through the Play-Doh, that little bit of base current going into the transistor is now short circuiting to ground through the Play-Doh. Take it away and it works. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on here. Same with the other side. We can short circuit the transistor. The LED is nice and bright and away we go. But wait, there's more, there's more. We can just combine with a little bit more technology. This little baby here is a little microprocessor inside which is programmed to make nice little sound. When you turn the control, All right, well, let's take the control out, shall we? And instead, why not use Play-Doh? So here we go. We just connect up one side and we connect up the other side. What tune would you like me to play? Technology and art combined. Enjoy playing with Play-Doh.